hello you guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i have a put together this caddy box and i was first inspired by uh, martha creations but she did hers a little different i use the chipboards from michael's i use a tutorial from tony who is craft purge how to make um this box i'll leave it down below so you guys can check it out if you guys want to make uh this uh project uh, very easy to put together uh this box um all you need is some tags i'm going to be using um these tags this die is from aliexpress and i'm going to be adding it on the sides of the box you guys can see right there I did use um, cardstock and the pattern paper. Uh, the collection I'm using is Maggie Holmes Garden Party. And you guys, I'm like so obsessed with this collection. I think this has to be my new favorite one so far. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I love the colors. I love this beautiful paper pattern. I had to order more of this one because it's like my favorite one. I love the florals, they're pink. I love the background it's like this nice baby blue has yellow flowers with the pink i love this pattern so much and you're going to need your box i also did a sequin a shaker on the outside of the box it was very easy um all you need is acetate and i just measure it of the size of the box i did hand stitch stitch this all around using my pink thread um you guys can see all the beautiful sequins i have used here's an up close i did um use it on both sides i did not add it any on the the sides um because i'm going to be using the tag to cover that so your box you're going to need you need a paper straw um, this is the one I'm going to be using, this beautiful pink holographic, some decorations um, for the front cover if you want to decorate the front. And I'm using this flower rose resin um, to hold my um, paper straw with the tag. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I got these ones from AliExpress, they're really pretty. So, um, you don't have to do this part, but I wanted to go a little extra. So I got this new die from In Love's Art Shop, and it's like the um, back topper. Package up my embellishments um, like this with some of that clear pockets. So here's the dies from In Love's Art Shop, and I use the second size. Um, which is this one so you get a really tiny one a small and a big one let's get started and start putting all this together so i'm going to be decorating the front of the box and i think i'm going to be doing this side so i already have everything um what i want to add um, to decorate the front of the box because if not we will be here forever you guys so i'm going to be adding this trim that i got from i just got this new trim it's from michael's it's right there and then i'm going to add this ruffle one that i have made so i don't know how to uh, use my sewing machine you guys so what I did was use my pink staples and just made my ruffle um, my own ruffle version of using staples so this a another idea if you guys do not know how to use your sewing machine like me just place it right right there Oh my gosh, this video is already 8 minutes, you guys. I think I'm going to add the ticket. Right there. 
Um, hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. And then, sorry for the glare. It's the it's the acetate there. And this is how she is looking so far. Actually, I'm going to do it right there instead. Be adding the tags on the side. So it's going to look something like that. I think, do I have enough glue? No, I need more glue, of course. My glue gun is like so ugly. Look at that. Ugh. And I've been really wanting a pink glue gun, but I haven't found like a really cute one. Do you guys know any pink glue guns? Let me know because. I really want to get one <laughs> and then just place it as even as I can like that I like to use the hot glue because it's going to make it more sturdy with the hot glue gun it's gonna make it really sturdy your um, caddy box so I'm just going to push that down then I'm going to do the same thing on the next one. Okay, so the next step is uh, you're going to get your paper straw and start adding your embellishments inside the straw just like this is that all of them yeah that's all of them and then i'm just going to put it in like this so you should have something like that just very easy and i'm just going to back it up on the paper straw and add some hot glue i was thinking also to add the bow i made these fabric uh bow yeah i changed my mind so i'm going to be using the bows instead wait for it to dry take three you guys because i totally forgot that i needed to cut a little bit on the paper straw so I'm going to take the bow off. Something wrong always has to happen, I swear. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit. Okay, so that is much better now. I'm gonna add some of this. I'm gonna add some gemstones on the bow. Like that. That looks really pretty. I wanna add a pom-pom on the bunny. Let's see, let's, should we do a lighter pink? These really tiny little jemmies. Um, these ones I got from AliExpress. Here's a close-up. They are so pretty, you guys. And they are very tiny. I'm going to add it on the bunny bow. So, um, this video is already getting a little long now, but, um, I might still decorate, um, off camera, add a few little touches. Okay, so this is how you make a caddy box. Perfect for your swaps, and I just love it. Okay, so here's an up close. How it turned out. With the shaker... I'll leave uh, Tony's YouTube channel down below, um, how to make the box. I hope you guys liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.